Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you an experiment about shadows. Today we are going to uh, make a shadows with a source of light and then we will have like an opaque object and then we will see what happens with the shadows when there's like a changes in the source of light distance and everything. So stay tuned. So please um, don't forget to like the video if you like it and kindly subscribe my channel so check it out let's start the experiment the first thing we need is an opaque object here i use a perfume and then the next one is source of light here i use my cell phone okay and then after that we are going to turn off the light so stay tuned okay now I have already turned off the light in my room. The first question is that I okay, I'm still holding the source of light. What will happen? The first question is what will happen if there's an opaque object blocking the light? So I'm going to put it here. Okay. Now we see if there's an opaque object blocking the light, shadows are formed. The next question, what will happen if we make the source of light and the opaque object distance getting closer to each other? So here I'm going to make the source of light getting close. You see? The shadows become bigger okay the next question what will happen if i make the distance between source of light and the opaque object is farther you'll see okay the shadows is become smaller Next question, what will happen if I put the source of light on the left? So I'm going to put my cell phone on the left of the opaque object. Ob okay. So now we'll see the shadows goes to the right. So if the source of light is on the left, the shadow will be on the right. The next question. What if happen if the source of light is moved to the right? I'm going to move it. You can see the shadows also move to the opposite of the source of light. The source of light on the right, the opaque the shadows of opaque object on the left. The last question is what will happen if I put the source of light right above the opaque object? We'll see. This just like happen when it is at noon. When it is close like this, the shadow is really big. But when it is a bit far, the shadows will be very small. This is just like a, what happened if it is like um, at 12 o'clock at noon. When it is going very very a bit farther, going upper, the shadows become really small. Really small. Maybe if it is goes up, maybe it will be gone. And when we try to get close to it, it's getting bigger, bigger, and bigger. Okay. So, that is the experiment about shadows. And I hope you can do this experiment also at home so that you can understand the characteristic of shadows. So, have a nice day everyone. Bye-bye.